All right, anyone's welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here ever, welcome for the first time. I'm Mila Vanderbilt, and today we are doing a GTA 5 roleplay tutorial. Kind of. It's also just kind of a reshade tutorial. The one thing that is so important to me when I'm playing GTA is actually having a really cute character. On top of joining cities that actually just have cute character options, there are a couple of things that you can do to enhance your experience. So you just see your character better, so you take better photos, or just have a general overall like better gameplay experience, especially if you're in a city that doesn't have filters. I enjoy using reshade. So reshade is something that you can use in multiple games. I prefer to use it in GTA and it allows you to change so many different things about your scene. It could be the lighting, it could be something to make it look like a filter. It could be to give your character a little bit of blur to their face. It could be to make it all look like a cartoon or distort it or make it look like a video, like a CCTV camera. Like there are like make it a fishbowl. Like there are so many different things you can do with reshade. So today I'm gonna show you how to install it into 5M and I use it on my laptop, I use it on my PC, I use it for stream. So we're gonna just go ahead and get it installed now since I had to do a computer reset recently and I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how to do it as well. And if you find this video helpful or useful at all and you just like GTA content and GTA tutorials be sure to slap a like if you can for favor and drop a comment let me know what you want to see next what you could use some help with in GTA roleplay and then of course hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when I'm dropping a new video or going live I usually do live GTA tutorials every other Sunday so be sure to keep an eye out for those a lot of them are character tutorials general roleplay tutorials and other things that I think would help just GTA players acclimate to roleplay a little easier but anyway let's just jump right into this video and let's get reshade installed into our 5m okay so our first step we are going to reshade.me slash hashtag hashtag download so you can download it first here i'm just going to do the download reshade 6.4.1 that's the current version out as of march 2nd 2025 whenever you come to this like it might be different it's going to pop up for you in your upper right hand corner all right so once it downloads if you if you caught it in time, it should have been in the corner. All you had to do is click it, it would open this window. If you miss it, just click your little download thing and then click it from here. And then here you're gonna select your gamer application. Like I said, if you have, I literally only have two games installed on this PC because I had to do a full reset. So I only have Crime Scene Cleaner and GTA. I'm just gonna do GTA. I do not need it in Crime Scene Cleaner. If you cannot find it, you could hit this browse and go to it. If you got it from Steam, usually it's under like your C drive, uh, program files, Steam, Steam apps. <laughs> <laughs> then you should be able to find GTA. Now, if you don't have your GTA from Steam, you may just need to find your actual program file. So just figure out like wherever you got it from, try to figure out where that's from. I also think like if you have it saved on your desktop somewhere, you can right click on it and click open file location and then try to find like the, the path or the directory that leads you to your app, that leads you to your actual game application. All right, so once you have it either selected from browsing or from your list right here, just go ahead and click next. Now you wanna make sure you are on the Microsoft DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12 and then hit next once again. All right, and then once you get to this select effects to install in the upper right hand corner, hit uncheck all and then check all. You just want all of these selected and then go ahead and click next. Gonna have all your little downloading thingies. And then boom, successfully installed reshade. Click the finish button to exit the setup tool. All right, but now that that's finished, we're just gonna hit finish. And remember, so that has completely installed reshade within GTA, not yet 5M, so we're gonna do that part next. All right, so for this next part, you wanna open up your GTA main directory folder. So like I said, there's a couple ways to do it. You can do it directly from Steam. Hold on. <laughs> you can do it from Steam. So if you go to where you have your GTA, which one did I install to? Go to your GTA and then manage and then here, browse local files. And then alternatively, if you know how to get to this folder from just your C drive, you can go that way as well. But what we need to do is we need to copy a couple of files from here to 5M. And now to get to your 5M folder, you just, so I have 5M on my desktop. I recommend just having it on your desktop, but right click on it and go to open file location. All right, so once you right click, go to open file location, then we are searching for a folder called 5M application data. So within 5M application data, that's where we're gonna be copying in some files. So I'm just going to, okay, so once we're in here, so you just need to make, create a new folder in your application data. So I'm gonna hit new, just go to folder. It's gonna create a new folder at the bottom. I'm actually just gonna call this plugins. I already have a plugins, hold on. What's going on here? I got a plugins folder. I might have already done this, <laughs> but just create a folder called plugins. If you already have one, yay, then go ahead and open up your plugins folder. 
Okay, so now from your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, so that one that we got to from Steam and all of that, you're gonna copy a couple of files over to your 5 and Plugins folder. So I have them highlighted here. I'll also put it on the screen, but the first one is a folder called Reshade slash Shaders. The second file you want is this dxgi.dll. And then scroll down a little farther and you have a reshade, which is a configuration setting, reshade, which is a text document. And then you have this reshade preset, a configuration setting. So you can either right click and copy and paste over into your plugins folder. I like to drag, I'm holding down control to copy. So control and drag it over and then drop it into this plugins folder. Now I'm not using any presets, but if you have any presets or if in the future I ever create any presets, you would also drop those in the plugins folder. So you would just go to what, wherever you downloaded your presets and drop them in here. I have a Discord server and I'll encourage anyone that has their own presets or if I end up making any, I'll drop them in Discord, but just drop them straight into this same plugins folder. And then also for like an organizational point of view within your plugins folder, it's a good idea to create a subfolder called presets and drop your presets in there. I haven't used presets yet, so I'm not too sure exactly how that works. So that'll be something that we may have to figure out together. Okay, and then your next step is to just open 5M. So let's go ahead and start up 5M. Okay, so once you're in 5M, one thing that you do wanna check, depending on when you installed your 5M, it may or may not look like this, but first navigate over to settings in your upper right-hand corner, and then you wanna go to game, and you want to have this unselected. So this NUI and process GPU fix UI lag at high GPU usage. So go ahead and uncheck that if it's selected. I think by default it is, I honestly cannot remember. I mean, it was for me. I don't know if I, I had to do that in the past though. And I mean, I, I don't have any many details on exactly what that does. It does say it could cause reliability issues, but unfortunately reshade will not work if you have that selected. So be sure to uncheck it. It should look like a blank empty box once it's unchecked and not like a filled in white box. And then to close that little block box, just click just click anywhere over in 5M. And then from here, we're gonna actually hit F8. And you know that opens up your little F8 menu. Now, the one thing that makes it a little complicated installing reshade into 5M is if you look at the top up here, it says that it's blocking reshade. So blocked load of reshade version five or higher. It has a bug that will lead to game crashes and GPU drivers. So we actually need to go ahead and unblock this. Again, this is totally your choice. If you can, if your system or your PC can run this, just be sure you're confident in that. If not, you can just uninstall reshade or not do this part, but we're gonna go ahead and unblock it so it works in 5M. But under it, it is showing you a short code and it's showing you your ID. You actually need that entire short code. I've put it in the description below, but be sure to copy your own ID and you're gonna replace your ID with your actual ID. And then you're gonna enter that let me show you where to go really quick. So you're gonna go back to your 5M folder. So that plugins folder that we were in earlier, and you're gonna go up one folder. So go up right back to your 5M application data. And instead of clicking plugins, we actually wanna go down to the Citizen FX. So this is your configuration settings. So under the type column, it should say configuration settings. So double click on that. That's gonna open up like this word. I mean, this like notepad. Uh, document. So this is the code that I am talking about. So you, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in the description, but it's going to say your ID. You want to actually just copy this ID from your 5M. So from F8, you're not going to be able to like copy from that little box up there. You're going to have to actually like type it out and put it somewhere where you have it so you can paste it in here or whatever. But once you open this citizenfx.ini or your configuration settings file, you're just gonna, it's gonna have your like little cursor right here, just hit enter so you're like a space down and then paste in the code that's in my description, replace the your ID with your actual ID and then hit the little X, it's gonna prompt you to save. Just go ahead and save that, close it out. We're gonna close out 5M, we're gonna just hit F8, we're gonna quit and then we're gonna reopen 5M and you'll see at the top that it's ha it has reshade is like loading. So you'll see this, that little thing up there, that'll show you that it's loading. Ugh, 5M hates me sometimes, child. It's a hated ass beesh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so reshade happens. Basically to open up your whole reshade folder for the first time or your whole reshade application within 5M, it's the home key on your keyboard. So hit home. It's going to try to take you through a tutorial. The first time I opened this up, it actually had my, my 5M crashed. Um, 
So I don't know if it loaded up all my reshades. It actually told me once I reopened it that it had trouble loading up all my reshade options. So I might not have them all here, but it'll try to prompt you to go through a tutorial. The first thing that I personally like to do is because we use the home button sometimes in GTA. If you own a server, or if you're an admin in a server, you know you're probably using the home button all the time. If you're not at all and that works for you, that's totally fine. But if you wanna change it from being the home button, I honestly, I make mine the number pad decimal. I prefer that, so that's what I put it on. And then I'm going to go back to the home and this is where you can select all your reshades. It's usually a little easier to see which ones you like the most. Ooh, sneeze, sneeze. Like it's good to have, um, your actual character so you can see what you like the most. Hopefully my favorite one's loaded. I know I really like Technicolor. I don't know if it's Technicolor two or one to be honest, but I always move all my favorites to the top. So all you have to do is like right select it, move to top. I like that one a lot. I like Gaussian Blur. Let me see, Gaussian Blur. I don't, again, I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm not in character. I, I, let me just log in a character child, hold on. Um, all mine didn't load again, like it crashed for me when it was trying to install. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably why it's blocked from 5M because it can cause crashes. So if you notice that your PC is not working well with it, what you can do is go back to your 5M application and delete those files that we dragged over to your plugins folder to get it out of there. If for whatever reason it's not coming out of there, you might just have to delete and reinstall 5M. You, My computer is fine with it, um, but again, Use it at your own risk, I guess. I don't know what causes it to crash. It may be just a little bit of a higher load on your GPU, especially when it's installing all of them. I noticed it was going incredibly fast and I don't know what percentage it got to when my 5M crashed, but that happened the first time I did it. It actually didn't happen on my laptop. I don't know what the difference is, but it happened the first time I did it. So I just wasn't, I didn't have access to some of the reshade options. I wasn't too worried about that though, child because I don't need them all. I just need a couple so my 5M doesn't look all drab. I'm gonna take these off for now so you can see the difference. And then I might look back at an old stream to see if I can remember. I know it was Technicolor, Gaussian Blur, maybe Vivid something. I don't know, we'll play around. I'm gonna show you a couple of different presets anyway, but those are my favorites because I literally sat here and went through every single reshade preset to find my favorites. <laughs> like I really took the time out. Okay, and so for me, I mean, granted, I think it's getting closer to sunset, but for me, this just looks so drab without reshade. Hold on, I'm trying to center her. <laughs> I'm hitting it too aggressively, but center girl, chill. Whatever, this looks so drab to me. So like I said, I like Technicolor. I don't know if it's Technicolor one or two. No, it definitely wasn't that one. So we can move this. I mean, I don't have to move it back to his place, but I do like Technicolor. I know I like Gaussian Blur. I don't know if it's, definitely not that one, it's too strong. I don't know if it's that one though, that made it kind of dark. Oh, it's definitely this one. You can adjust, like at the bottom, you notice when I select an effect, it's giving me all of these different numbers. You can like change these values either, either higher or lower to kind of help you out. I don't know what Gaussian Bloom does, but I do sometimes put a little bit of a blur on her. I'm gonna move that to the top. Oh, I do like Sharpen, so I'm gonna move that to the top. See, like you have like crazy different effects. There are so many different things that you can do. These are all bizarre. But if you like to film videos and stuff, like these could be cool things to add on to it. I can't imagine I'm gonna really sit here and go through all these, but girl, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> whatever it takes. And I honestly, I'm going, I'm looking for some that I don't need to adjust because honestly, I don't like all that much. Color grading is useful because you can just like adjust how you want the colors to look. Like I tend to like cool tones. Oh, there's a vibrant one in here. You can also apply your own LUTs. If you download LUTs, I used to use those when I was like video editing and stuff. So basically I just go through, find all the ones that I like and move them to the top. And then I'll move my absolute favorites all the way to the top. Like the ones that I know I'm always gonna keep on. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the rest of these another time. I'm, a, I'm gonna stop at the L's. <laughs> Because I am sure Gaussian Blur and Technicolor are good enough for me right now. 
Um, so I'll check these back later. But I would just say a couple things to remember is super easy to install into GTA. There are a couple extra steps to make it or install it into 5M, including just copying some things over to your 5M plugins folder. And then of course, just giving 5M access to actually use it. So be sure to follow those steps, but it's super easy. And then all you have to do is go through all the filters and see which ones you like the best. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving this video a like and dropping a comment, por favor. Comment anything else you'd like me to show you or demonstrate. Uh, and GTA, if I know how to do it, I'll easily just go ahead and do it. If I don't know how, I may have to check out a couple tutorials and then just like walk my way through it. But I understand like sometimes you get used to a certain person teaching you something. So if that helps you out, I am more than happy to show you how to do absolutely anything. Again, if you enjoy your time here, find this information valuable, like my channel, consider giving me a sub and turning on notifications so you know when I drop new videos or go live over here. But I hope to see you guys next time. I really hope this works for you. And if you're not already, be sure to join my Discord server and share your GTA picks and your favorite servers with us. And we'll be sure to check them out. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. On my old flame. Watching my page, say they miss what I gave them, I'm doing fine now.